what's up everyone, Duquesne23 here, and today I want to go over all the basic elements of Halo 5's Forge. Basically all the moving things, the snapping, the magnets, the duplication, grouping, and everything like that. Now one of the first things I do in Halo 5's Forge is, I, whenever I pick a canvas I want to forge on, I decide on what theme or skybox that I want to choose you know, on that canvas. Now, you know, for each canvas there are different skyboxes. Right now I'm on Glacier. And you could choose a different theme, you know, for the canvas by hitting the X button and it goes to map options and tool settings. But right now we're just going to go to map options. Tool settings goes for a little bit more advanced stuff sometimes with like cinematics and things. And that will come on during a later uh, Forge tutorial. Uh, but right now let's go into map options and here is the theme skybox. There's the midday, nighttime, and sunrise in uh, Glacier. And so right now we could go ahead and choose, I'll choose sunrise. There's other things like screen effects that you can choose from. There's tons of them. And also fog and distance fog, cloud shadows, wind, decorators, th all those type of things like fog and everything I will show in different you know, future uh, tutorials also because some of that stuff can get pretty advanced especially if you're trying to create some cool atmospheric things. But right now I have chosen the sunrise so basically all you do have is hit the B button a few times and it will reload up your map. Now you can do this while you're forging your map or at the very beginning. It doesn't matter when and if you notice you have a nice beautiful sunrise skybox and this is pretty much the recurve skybox also. Uh, so now what you want to do once you uh, choose what skybox you have you want to press Y and it will go into your spawn object sections and you have gameplay structures, primitives, natural, props, breakout, and extras. And from here, I'd suggest everyone go through each one of these and, you know, look at all the blocks so you can get a feel for everything and you know where some things are, you know, while you're forging. Uh, but right now, I'm going to go into primitives and just go into blocks and let's go ahead and go by a 20 by 20 block here and just a big old block. And so right there is a 20 by 20 by 20. Yes, all the forge pieces now in, you know, Halo 5's forge are, you know, it has the length, width, and height, which that is so much better. So you, now you can have, you know exactly, you know, what the length, width, and height is of all the blocks that you'll be placing out. So now that we spawned a block, if you notice it's highlighted in yellow, and basically what that means is that I have this block selected. Now whenever this block is selected, I can hold the left trigger down and it will move around when it, while I'm holding the left trigger. Now you don't have to be put, like your cursor put onto the block, you can be off of the block, you can be zoomed as far out as you want, you can technically not be really looking at the block at all and it'll still move with you as long as it's selected and you're holding down the left trigger. Uh, now what this is really good for is if you need to get really close to an edge of block and then you move it around to wherever you want it to go. Uh, to be sure you line everything up perfectly. That's what it's amazing for. And also guys, you can control the speed of your camera by clicking the left thumbstick down. Now what this does is the normal, this is the normal move it speed right here. If you click the lump, thumbstick down, see how much slower it goes. That's basically a precision mode. So you could get a lot more precise while you're moving your blocks around instead of it going really fast like this whenever you're trying to just make very small movements. Uh, now basically whenever you're trying to move this block around, it, there is a snap feature, a movement snap. And right now it's on none, but there is a eighth, a fourth, a half, and then a one foot, two foot, and four foot uh, snap there. And of course a .001 Z Fighter Fixer. Now basically what the Z Fighter Fixer does is it fixes Z Fighting. If you don't know what that is, it's whenever you're on a map and there's a whole bunch of squiggly lines and things like that just start showing up on top of the floor. Um, here, let me go ahead and uh, spawn in another one of these objects and I'll move it over. Let's turn it off of the Z Fighter Fixer because that will take forever. You know, see how that is flickering, those objects right there? See how that's flickering? That's what I'm talking, that's called Z Fighting. Now a Z Fighter Fixer is basically once, whenever you go hold down the left trigger, go to your snap, move the D-pad left and right and you select your Z Fighter Fixer and you just hit up, just one, just barely, just press up by pressing B and if you go down with the object is A. Going down is A, going up is B. So pretty much you can get it perfect where you want. If you notice it no longer flashes, no longer messes up whenever you're over it. And that actually does not get affected by, you know, a Spartan walking over it. So it fixes the Z fighting issue and that is great to be able to have in Halo 5. Uh, so pretty much now, 
um, you know, you know how to move the block around, you know what to do, you know, at least with, you know, positioning a block wherever you want it. Uh, so now you want to be able to rotate your block. Now how you do that is you hold down the right trigger and if you notice you have your rotation little tool show up there whenever you're holding down the right trigger. Basically, you know, horizontal is red, like that's why, you know, it shows which way you press left and right on your joystick and it'll, you know, rotate it horizontally. And then vertical is blue there and you press forward and then back on your joystick and it'll rotate it like that. It's pretty self-explanatory. Now let's say you get it to this position, you're like, I want to go how it originally was whenever I spawned it. What you do is while you're holding down the right trigger, you press down on the D-pad and there you go. It goes back to its original, you know, uh, block location and, you know, it's reset. Basically, the rotation is reset. So that is something that's really nice to be able to have and it can just go straight back if you accidentally get in a very weird position and you want to try again on your rotating. Uh, so pretty much now after you are able to rotate everything uh, All that's basically left to do is um, oh hold on one second I totally forgot guys if you press left and right on the d-pad It'll also do rotation snap so you can rotate uh, Up to 30 degrees if you want, you know, I mean there's so many rotating options It goes down to half of a degree on rotation that is like super short rotations like super small rotations um, so you can really get really precise uh, with you know your movements and your rotation so it's really nice to be able to have now once you you know have your block positioned wherever you want and you, let's say you want to duplicate it to make more of a wall or more of a platform or something like that how you duplicate is you whenever you have an object selected or highlighted uh, you just basically tap the right uh, d-pad and it will duplicate towards your camera so if I have it that way, I press it that way, see how it's duplicating towards my camera? Uh, so it just keeps duplicating. If I go up above and do that, it'll duplicate up. Whichever way you're looking towards your camera, it'll duplicate. Uh, so that's something really nice to be able to have on duplicating uh, to be able to do something like that. Now, after you get done duplicating, let's say you want to group all this together because you made this amazing structure and you want to move it around the map or you want to you know, even duplicate the entire structure. All you have to do is hit the right bumper on all the pieces or what you can do is actually hold down the right bumper and it's kind of like painting all the pieces. Uh, so if you have a lot of pieces, it's a lot easier a lot of times to hold down the right bumper and just basically paint over everything. And then you hit up and you then you hold up on the D-pad and it will group everything together. Now everything moves all at once. This is the parent uh, piece right here. Now to change the parent, you hit X on your uh, controller go to object properties and you'll see this parent it's the fifth block is the parent but you could change it to the first block second block third block fourth block fifth block so you're able to change the parent basically what the parent is is wherever the rotating is going to be you know so the rotating is going to rotate around that parent block right there you know so that's something really uh, nice to know oh and then another thing I forgot to say let's say you're rotating and you want to rotate it uh, you know, instead of going horizontal this way, you kind of want to rotate it vertical going from left to right. You, then, while holding down the right trigger, you hold down the left trigger and see how it changes uh, that horizontal to another vertical. So then you can, change, you can rotate it like this. So that's something very useful. It, it can change the axis of that rotation there. Uh, so you can pretty much get it to however you want it to move and stuff. So, and again, just you can reset it by hitting down on the D-pad once you get done with that. Uh, so now you can duplicate um, all your grouped blocks together. If you want to group more blocks together, you just select each group there, hold up on the D-pad, then th now this whole thing is grouped. Oh my gosh, why it didn't actually work there? Uh, this is really weird. This is something... Uh-oh, guys, we got a problem. We got a major problem. So there are sometimes some grouping errors, guys, in, uh, in Halo 5's Forge. Uh, so hopefully that will be fixed. Okay, there we go. It's actually working now. So basically all you have to do is unselect it, just deselect. If you have that issue of what I just had, just deselect it, then reselect it again, and it seems to be working just fine now. So there we go. That is nice to know. If you have that issue where for some reason the objects aren't staying grouped, just deselect it, then reselect it, and it'll work again. So they'll probably get a fix for that uh, fairly soon, and let's actually hope it happens. Uh, so yeah, now that we have this object group right here, if you want to ungroup it, just hold up on the D-pad. Everything gets ungrouped back to its original block. Uh, so then you can move in each individual block out all you want. And then you can regroup it here 
if you want. You know, I, I want to group these blocks right here, so then I just have these blocks, you know, grouped together. Okay, there's a, for some reason I'm having that same issue, but hopefully it gets fixed, you know, but there we go. Those blocks are grouped together now. So that is something really nice to be able to have now. Let's say I want to have some magnets enabled because I'm a forger who likes magnets. All you do is have to hold the left trigger whenever you select a block, hold down the left trigger and the magnets is up on the D-pad. So you enable magnets and you'll see all those little circles on there. And basically those will all become arrows like off of whichever and it'll point basically where, you know, what piece and stuff like that and where it's gonna be connecting to. So then you connect it to it like that. Uh, so basically you just got to look at what pieces it, it'll be connecting to what areas and you can connect it to however you want and so there you go and Magnus if you want to turn it off again just hold the left trigger and press up on the d-pad and it will turn off so guys I really hope you enjoyed this very basic tutorial on how to forge now I know some of this stuff and you know Halo 5's forge can get pretty complicated uh, for you know newer people and even some veteran forgers it could get pretty complicated uh, basically all you have to do is just keep practicing it with it keep working uh, it is, you know, something that, you know, you'll get used to, you'll learn. It was very tough for me at first whenever I first started forging in Halo 5, but now I'm really used to it. Also in the future, I will be doing more advanced tutorials, uh, you know, with things like scripting and stuff like that. So, you know, be sure to stay tuned for those type of things. And also, you know, Halo 5 custom maps and things like that. There have been amazing custom maps that people have made. And hopefully with these tutorials here, it helps y'all out and y'all can make some pretty amazing custom maps, uh, you know, in the future. And guys, don't forget to subscribe and also like this video and share it around to help out everyone else that's struggling with Halo 5's Forge. And remember guys, let's forge a new Halo. Yeah.